Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at Randy Savage, the Macho King. Uh, this is the sixth version of Macho Man in the game, and he now has one in every single class. And you know me, I'm a completionist, so I was hoping he would be a striker, and lo and behold, he is. Um, and we are sticking with the royal theme. I know a lot of people in the community wanted to see the Macho King. And uh, not only do they get to see him, but they get to test him out at 5 Star Bronze. So, big up, Scopely, good call, very popular decision. And um, initial thoughts of the character itself, um, disgustingly versatile and um, very interchangeable with regards to his moves. So, I haven't decided how many movesets I'm going to preview yet, because you could literally take two moves and swap in a different third, like three times. Um, I will show at least one three star, one four star, and one five star move set to get an idea of how you can run him at different rarities. Uh, let's take a look. He is a Legends era striker. So he's going to be in the same class as Afa and Volkov. Coach ability, going to be major. Um, he does overlap with Showboat Lacey in terms of purple gem damage, uh, but he also has red gems, and at 21,000, so that's 5-star gold, um, purple gems and red gems do 20% more damage. So he's basically the coach version of Showboat Wendy. I will have a character analysis with crossover values on that, so you can look for that in the future. Uh, Link bonus, Legends era, gems do 10% more damage, and he has the one set of gear. Let's just take a look. Got the Tassly things, got his little crown, shades, the scepter, look at all those beautiful wacky waving arm inflatable waving tube man. He's got like a wind machine or something, I think. Anyways. So the first set I'm going to show is a three-star moveset. Um, there are two three-star movesets you could run. I will show both. Uh, the first is uh, the finisher with double blue. So his finisher is the diving elbow drop. It is a 10 MP charge. Deal 185,676 damage and swap a four by one random area into black gems. Uh, that scales to five by one at five-star gold. Knee drop is blue one, 6 MP, deal 61,196 damage and choose one row to destroy. And blue two is the pile driver, 6 MP as well, deal 64,033 damage and choose two gems to make into column break gems. So, Entourage, I'm going to use Lawler for more starting blue MP. Now, I do have max tour perks, but with a level three tour perk and Lawler, these blue moves would be level one, uh, turn one anyways. So uh, we're not gonna get an accurate scale on the finisher and it reloading itself because of the max tour perks. It probably won't reload itself without them. Um, with max tour perks, it might. So we'll watch for that. Um, so Lawler for more blue MP, uh, Farouk at 9k for three more column breaks. I'm going to put Elias on to help charge the finisher faster. Um, if you don't have, like without tour perks, that's probably the call is Elias. And in terms of a second coach, um, I don't have anybody super ideal. Like I have Hollywood, but I don't want to preview with Hollywood because it's not, like not everyone has him. Uh, but slapping on Hollywood with Elias would definitely help that finisher possibly reload itself every turn, depending on how the board goes. Um, if you have Powerhouse Drew at 9k, you would get an extra column break and a little more column break uh, gem damage. Mine is not even at 5k yet, so I'm not going to use him. Um, a blue move coach, Otis, Hall of Fame Honky Tonk Man. A black move coach, Hall of Fame Ted. Um, 
I don't really have anyone ideal. So I'm just throwing on um, NWO Big Show. He is a jobber for me. But I know a lot of people that got him from the shard chests and have leveled him up. So he'll give you an increased chance for black gems on the initial gem board. And that will help um, load the finisher as well. So uh, the belt, we're going full fury with a bad attitude plate. So you match blue and get black MP. So that will help to load the finisher as well. Um, black percent metal my only black percent is not very leveled up so we're getting 59.81 percent on the finisher with a 200 percent metal that's gonna smack like that'll be insane so that's that and as you can see my tour perks so all color moves start with three more move points matching all color gems charge moves of that color by two and then with elias that's three so we, we might load the finisher just right away. Um, and we are going to do, it's the battle of the macho men. Ooh, yeah. I'll never do that again. I, I promise that was the first and only time I'll do that impression. Uh, but it's going to be macho versus macho. Let's uh, see, let's see how it goes. Those tassels are just putting in work. All right, so just because Masters of the Universe Macho has a bigger scepter doesn't mean he knows how to use it. So we are going to start with the pile driver. We're going to choose five gems to make into column breaks, and we're going to try to set it up so we break as many blacks and blues as possible. So hit the pile driver. Uh, there's three black gems there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. So we'll do that. And then we'll hit the knee drop. We'll choose one row to destroy. So we'll destroy that top row. And uh, BAP! Tribute to DJ. All right, turn one, 360K. Got all three moves loaded again. Now I'm gonna just hit the finisher here cause I wanna see if it reloads itself with all the tour perks and it is random. So we'll see. It did not. All right. Inquiring minds want to know, so. Good chunk of damage on the finisher though. Again, that 200% black metal would be fire. So we'll basically do the cycle again. Choose five to make into column breaks. Pick off as many blacks and blues as possible. So one, two, three, four, and there's two blues there. So we take those. And we'll get a little bit of a cascade with these yellows here too. And this should load everything up again. Kabap! 97. All right. All right. Uh, so that's fairly straightforward and fairly efficient. Um, the blues being low charge and the fact that you get control over what to destroy is a very good recycling moveset and Farouk is fairly common. So at lower levels, that is certainly viable. Let's, uh, let's keep trucking and uh, see what other movesets we can do. The second three-star moveset we're going to look at is double black with yellow one. So we're gonna keep the finisher. We're bringing in black two, which is the head pull hangman, a seven MP charge. 
deal 74,297 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. Um, that does not get longer at five star gold. Um, it stays a one turn stun. So we'll see how that works. And then yellow one is snake eyes. 6 MP charge, deal 65,417 damage, and choose 4 gems to make into black gems. So, Entourage for this, we're going to keep Elias and um, NWO Big Show. Uh, we're going to bring in Shobo Kofi for more yellow MP, and we're going to bring in Titus to create more black gems, and we're going to keep the belt the same. So, let's see how this one flows. Snake eyes. Choose eight to make into black. And we're gonna try to align it so we recharge the yellow. And let's just do that. Big brain. So we'll hit the the head pull hangman. That's a cool looking move. All right, he's stunned. We're gonna hit the finisher. So we've reloaded the stun move again. I think the point of it being a one turn stun is if you run it with the finisher, you're theoretically filling it every turn, so you don't need a two turn, I guess. Not entirely sure of the logic there, but. Yeah, let's just do it this way, because maybe we can do that and not have a cascade. And then stack the stun this way. Huh? Huh? Big brain? Big brain? Now if we do that, that'll cascade and pin them. So let's just uh, hit that. Maybe we'll hit some of these black gems. And uh, reload the finisher. Or not. That's fine. I guess. Whatever. Stupid game. <laughs> okay, so that's how you would stack the, the stun. So we'll stun him again. And we'll take this yellow match. And he's stunned for two turns. We could hit the finisher again, but we're going to try. I realize his health is getting low, and we're going to end up like probably pinning him for the win anyways, but let's just, so one, two, three, four, five, make ourselves a wild card there, and then we'll scatter the rest of the black gems to see if we can hit some of them with the finisher. You son, nah. all right, you know what I'm going for there though, right? Like, because it's a one turn, try to stack it that way. With Elias, you're helping charge everything. So we stun for a turn. We'll hit this again. Come on. There we go. And the match is over. It really doesn't want to connect with any black gems, does it? That's fine. That set works well too. A uh, little bit of uh, thinking involved with the creating wild cards, trying not to cascade and stacking the stuns, uh, but very much doable. That'll help him uh, hit above his weight, you know, 
Sunlock, it would take 10 minutes to win against somebody two rarities higher, but it's doable. Um, so let's keep going and see what other movesets we can do. Four star move is the second yellow. So for the four star set, we're going to run double blue with yellow two. So we're bringing back the knee drop and the pile driver. And we're going to bring in the diving double axe handle, which is a six MP move. Deal 66,668 damage. Why couldn't they just make it? Six, 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 six. That would have been easy. Anyways, and make 11 random gems into row break gems. So, thought process here is you throw out the row breaks and then you choose the column breaks and then the row to, and you just explode the entire board. Um, probably overkill with Farouk uh, because the row breaks are going to explode the board, but we'll put them on there anyways just in case. Um, maybe Iron Sheik for column break damage, maybe Slick Rick just for more gem damage. Uh, we'll try it this way first. So we're doing Lawler and Farouk, and um, I think ideally you would want Powerhouse Drew and Bianca. Um, Bianca is row break, gem damage, and an extra row break. Um, I don't have her, so I'm just going to use Zombie Sasha and Rhea Ripley for a better chance of having yellow and blue gems on the board and see how that works. We've swapped our belt, if it will show. Uh, so we're sticking with Full Fury, but we've switched to a blue percent metal. And instead of Bad Attitude, we're going to run the Kid's Lightning Plate. Whenever you break three or more yellows, make seven purple into blue at the end of your turn. So that should help if um, for some reason nothing charges, or if you were going against a Trickster and you got dodged. Uh, you could just swipe yellow and hopefully load up everything again. So let's see, um, let's see how it goes. So with Lawler, these are ready to go. Um, but I'm going to take this. There's a lot of yellow gems, which is kind of what we wanted. So let's take a yellow match, charge up the yellow move, and then throw out some more blue gems. Uh, for him to break, but thought process there worked. All right, so diving double act handle. Use that, make a bunch of row breaks. Okay, so we got one on each row. Choose five gems to make into column breaks. So, hmm. And there's only one column break here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that. Cause I'll go there, cause there's two. There, because there's two. There, because there's two. Mm, no. Wait. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that. One, two, three. We'll cover that to get those. Probably, it's not even necessary, probably. And then that one, too. And then we'll hit the knee drop. And we'll destroy the row with all the column breaks. And the entire board goes boom. And that's why you use Fury Metals. Decent. Decent. I'm thinking we're probably better off using a gem damage trainer instead of Farouk. Um, with the 11 row breaks, like even just picking two column break gems is probably enough. So there's two there, there's two there, there's two there, there's two there. There's two there. 
I will definitely try this again without Farouk. Because if you're going to be exploding the entire board anyways, and freezing your blue stacks doing it, um, probably better off to do more gem damage. So let's try that. Because it's fairly low charge. They're all 6 MP, so chances are they're going to keep refilling themselves. Okay, so let's run the same set, but we're going to switch up the trainers a little bit. Alright, so we're going to run the same move set with the same belt set up. But instead of Farouk, we're going to use Slick Rick for 20% more gem damage to all gems. And I've taken out Rhea Ripley and I've put in Afa for more blue gem damage. My queendom for a black gem damage coach, but that's the story for another day. So let's see how this goes with less column breaks and more gem damage. Let's do that. And take that. And that. Yeah, take that. Okay, excellent. Everything's ready to go. So, tossing out 11 random row breaks. Okay, now we only have two column breaks, but I feel like that's fine. There's three there, two there, two there, two there, so we could break that row. And then get that, but then mm, I don't want to get this row exploded. Uh, let's go on the bottom. One, two, three. Oh, we're gonna big brain this. Hold on, we're gonna big brain this. So we're gonna destroy this. We're gonna get that row, that row, and this row. That's going to cascade into that, and it's going to blow up more stuff. I think. I hope. Please work. Frozen means good. Let's go! Alright, it worked. That was fun. He's gonna kick out though, which is fine. Oh, okay. That big scepter doesn't do anything for you then, huh? All right, so that's a possibility. See if you can get any cascades with the row breaks, boost your gem damage, keep them down. Love it. All right, let's keep going and take a look at the five star move set. The five star move set we're going to take a look at is triple black. So we're bringing back the finisher, we're bringing back the stun move, and we're bringing in black three, which is the back elbow smash. It is a five MP move. Deal 54,883 damage and choose three gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will deal zero damage and make three random gems into power gems of strength 23,518 on every countdown turn and deal zero damage and increase the strength of your power gems by 23,518 at the end of the countdown. So, we are going to use a uh, Striker Bray for more black MP. We're going to use Striker Nakamura for more power gem damage. Uh, Hall of Fame Nikki for more power gem damage. She also creates an extra power gem, but that isn't applicable when you're using a countdown move or a juggernaut move. So we're just going to have her in for damage. 
And then we're going to have Elias to help charge Black Moose faster. Um, because the finisher is the only thing that's reloading uh, Black Gems. And because of that, we're bringing back the Bad Attitude Plate. Um, in case we need a little bit of board help and there's no Blacks, we can take Blues and help charge the Blacks. We've also got the Black Percent Metal back. Again, mine is only a Tier 4 Level 6. A Tier 5 200% Metal would be insanity, I think. Um, so let's see how these Juggernaut gems work. So we're going to hit the back elbow smash. I'm going to choose three gems to make into Juggernauts. So we're going to put them on loot gems just to hope he doesn't match them. Then we're going to stun him. And we're going to take this black match. Excellent, it gave us a blue. Not that we need it, but just in case. So there are our power gems. So click on one. And with Nakamura and Hall of Fame Nikki, they've gone from 23,000 to 37,000. We're going to stun them again. Just because we want to see... Um, if we can stack these at all. We're going to put out some more Juggernaut Gems. Now we'll go here. Now it could hit the finisher, but it's random. Uh, luckily, Juggernauts are super reinforced. Yeah, let's see. This will charge the Juggernaut move. Even without perks, because we're making four. Okay, we didn't lose a whole lot. We did pin them for 661,000, though. Oh, and he didn't kick out. Okay, um, I guess we're doing this again. Maybe let's not hit the finisher and just see how stacked we can get those power gems. This doesn't count as a run it back, just FYI. It's more of a let's try again. So, get the Juggernaut gems. Stun them. There's no black, so we'll take the blue. Alright. Uh, he's going to get a turn. So let's leave these blacks. Use the blues again. Or you could just take away my black match. Alright. So those have... Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, let's, let's just check the math a little bit here. Um, so three gems to make into two turn juggernauts. Deal zero damage and make three random gems into power gems. So we should have nine. Six, seven, eight. He broke one, that's fine. And then increase the strength of your power gems by 23,000, but we had three of them. So that increases by like 71 something or other. Um, I believe Naka and Nikki just affect the base. And what do we say the base was? Like 38 or something? Yeah, that's crazy. Regardless, that's crazy. So, like, we're going to do a million on a gem swipe, regardless of the color gem. We could swipe loot gems and still smack them for a million. Um, so let's do that, shall we? Let's just... 
Yeah, 1.25 mil ain't shit, huh? Good lord. Yeah, so 37,000 and then with the increase to 167,000. That's nuts. Um, and if you stun them, it, it won't be all that slow. Um, excellent Titan Killer. But you could boost these with a little bit of finesse. I mean, if, if we're just doing this first, like a second try, and getting 1.25 million gem swipes, um, like a, a five star gold showboat with like six million health could still get taken out fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, that's overkill and fun. Y'all know how much I love my overkill. So, this may be the run it back move set? Might be? Might be. I haven't decided yet. I do have one more move set I want to show. Um, I did say at the beginning he's fairly interchangeable. And I thought of another move set while I was previewing. So, I just want to run another one and see how it works. So I want to give this moveset a try. We're going to do black 2 and black 3 with yellow 1. So basically choose gems to make into black gems and then um, we'll do the method that we did uh, when we first did the stun move, uh, which is like put the black gems into wild cards and then match and then that way we can stack the stun and we can stack the juggernaut gems. Um, so we'll see how that works, and we're going to do no MP trainers. Uh, we're going to use Titus for more black gems, Naka for more power gem damage, Nikki for more power gem damage, and then Elias just because I don't have Hall of Fame Bree. Don't remind me. So let's see how this goes. This has potential to be, like, super fun and not slow. So let's see. Take the yellow match. Okay, so let's hope we get some pin bar luck. I'll toss these down. And we'll use the black move. Do a wild card there. No, we'll go down one. So we don't accidentally cascade with that. Take a swipe. No cascade, that's good. Toss out some power gems. Stun the opponent. Put out some more Juggernaut gems. Please don't cascade. You son of- I feel like Sideshow Bob stepping on a rake. Big sad. Anyways. Alright. So, we'll get power gems, and then we're going to increase them. Ha 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 ha! 174! 167! Stun them again! No yellow match makes me sad. But we got a black match, so that'd be fine. So let's use this black, um, this red gem. I know my colors. Uh, let's use this red gem as a base. We're doing 174 right now. And then we're going to see if these three juggernaut gems, um, if they stay intact. Let's hope nothing crazy happens. Um, and we're going to see what this gets to. Um, okay, so. Oh, there's a yellow match. So he's stunned still. More power gems, make them stronger. 
Just gonna stun them again for funsies. So we went from 174,000 on the power gem to 275,000 on the power gem. I'm going to, let's hope that this doesn't cascade into a pin because I want to see these three, um, I want to see this effect take place as well. Please don't pin. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I just want to see what this red one's going to get to. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> so fun. Okay. The next swipe is gonna um, end it for us. And I don't want to swipe as... I want to swipe as few power gems as possible. So let's swipe here and see what the pop-up is. Come on. Come on. 7.65 mil. Oh, Lord. Okay. And I mean, that's over relatively quick. And he got like one turn. So, um, maybe this is the run it back moveset? I don't know, man. I got some decisions to make. But, uh, that was wild. That was wild. All right, let's uh, let's wrap things up. Okay, so that concludes my five-star silver preview of King Macho, or Macho King, or whatever the King of the Machos. Um, so a couple thoughts. Would love to see Miss Elizabeth in the game now. We've got six Macho men, and no Miss Elizabeths. Um, so make it happen. Second thought is there's a macho in every class and none of them are bad. So that's excellent. Um, let's show Andre some of that same energy. And uh, third thought, his coach ability is going to be killer for King Booker. So if you get King Booker from completing the MLC or from getting three kajillion shards and you happen to get Macho King as well, you're going to be laughing because um, that's going to be absolute insanity. So I'm going to have a character analysis on his coach ability and I'm going to have a run it back video. Uh, this card is a lot of fun. Yes, I said card. Don't get in your feelings. Um, he's a lot of fun really enjoy it super versatile depending on the trainers you have or don't have um depending on your medals too like there's if you don't have a black finisher medal you could run double blue and do just as fine you can stun you can blow up the board um you can bleed out a titan with power gems so overall very impressed with this character uh looking forward to doing the five star bronze trial of him get some of these road matches done. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, and like, again, like I said at the beginning, I know a lot of people wanted to see Macho King and I think uh, the people got what they wanted in terms of Macho King being very, 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 very good. Um, let me know your thoughts on the character. Let me know your favorite moveset. Again, it's a trial. Everybody gets to run him. So let me know what kind of combinations you're coming up with. I'm really excited to see what people um, are trying. Um, another question I have is he's a legend era striker. So do you rank him over Alpha? Inquiring minds want to know. I don't know. Um, I didn't, I wasn't around to preview Alpha and mine is not leveled yet. So I haven't had a chance to play around with him. But both very good. Curious to hear the takes as to who you think is the best Legend Era striker and why is it Volkov? Totally kidding. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.